what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you guys this makeup look that I have on today this is just a classic fall makeup tutorial I'm in the fall vibes I got my mustard sweater on I got my pumpkins I got my candle so ready for the weather just to cool down just a little bit so that I can actually enjoy the fall before Christmas hits or it can be like typical Mississippi and be 75 degrees on Christmas but yeah, I just basically did one of my go-to fall makeup tutorials that is super easy to achieve, except for, you know, lashes. You don't have to do lashes if you don't want to, but I just think that it really pulls a makeup look together, especially if you're planning on going out that night or if you're trying to get dressed up for an event. You can always find some very natural lashes. Today, I just used the Cosmania Lashes for Days Wispies. And they look like this. I actually get mine from Marshalls and they're pretty much at every single Marshalls that I've been to. Super affordable. They were eight dollars for one, two, three, four, five lashes. That's really, really good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you like it in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right, so I already filled in my brows. Now I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of a trick that I learned recently. And that is taking a spoolie brush and some soap. Now this looks absolutely disgusting. Because I am disgusting. But you just take some of that wet soap, rub it all over the spoolie, and this kind of acts as like a DIY brow glue or brow gel. And when you brush that through your brows, it honestly, they won't move for the rest of the day or the night or whatever you're doing with this. They honestly will not move. So this is an awesome like at home DIY thing. And it works absolutely perfectly and it costs nothing. So for today, I'm gonna start out with my face. And what I like to do when I'm doing a more matte foundation look, I like to go in with a very luminous primer. So today I'm gonna be using the Catrice Cosmetics Light Correcting Serum Primer in Candlelight. So this one is super, super good for if you just want a really, really nice luminous effect underneath your matte foundation. I'm gonna take some of that and put it all over my face. Can you tell what a difference that made to like the glowiness of your skin? For a foundation today, I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation and I am in the shade Medium Beige. This is such a nice, full coverage, matte foundation from Ulta, super cheap. They have like a dewy one too that I really, really love, but this one is just absolutely gorgeous. If you want more of a matte look, I would, actually, I would go pick this up because I have been loving it. It's been out for a while, but I still use it. I'm gonna take my Morphe sponge and blend that on out. All right, now for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and mine is in the shade Light Medium Honey. You've seen me use this multiple, multiple times. Love this uh, concealer, especially for if you want a really full coverage under eye look, this is the one to go for. And since we're using a matte foundation, this concealer is also matte, so it'll blend well together. this from Target if you guys are wondering there's little bitty pumpkins in there they're from the Target so now to set my under eye area I'm gonna be using the Becco Hydra Mist set and refresh powder y'all this powder is freaking awesome it actually has water in it is that water is an ingredient in here so when you apply this to your face hold on it's like a little net if you can see press it in there and you get powder 
So when you apply this to your face, it's kind of like a weird feeling because it feels like you're putting water on your face. Let me blend out some creasing. But you're actually, it's just because there's water in the powder. It, and like, you know when you put on powder, you're like, oh, I feel dry, I feel gross. Well, this is not what this powder does. This powder has water in it, so therefore when you put it on, it actually feels like you're applying like liquid to your face. So it feels very hydrating, which is an awesome idea on Becca's part, I'm not gonna lie. So since this powder is very lightweight, I'm just going to apply a little bit, let me find my brush, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that powder onto my face because I did use a matte foundation, therefore it's not going to transfer. Matte foundations are very, very like transfer proof in my opinion. They don't slip and slide like dewy foundations do. So I never have to really set, but I just like to make sure to set my face and you don't have to use like a full coverage um, powder. You can just use like a light dust or whatever's left on, whatever's left over under your eye. Now we're gonna go into the eyes and I'm gonna be using, this is disgusting, I'm gonna use the Morphe 35R palette. This is the old packaging, I don't even know what the new packaging looks like. But it looks like this, it's perfect for fall. All of your bronzy shades and your matte brown shades. It's such a gorgeous palette, I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna be taking my Morphe G17 brush right here and I'm gonna be going into this shade right here. The really the only transition shade in the entire palette. That's like the only thing that I don't like about this palette, but that's literally the only thing. Everything else to do with it is absolute perfection. Then using one of my Morphe brushes, I'm going to be diving into this shade right here on the bottom row and placing that into my crease. So for today's eye look, I'm going for a very bronzy gold eye. When I think of fall, that's just the colors that I think of. I don't think, I mean, I love my red tones, don't get me wrong, but the browns and the nudes and the bronzies, I feel like that just looks better on me personally and it's more flattering on me. All right, then using my ColourPop brush right here, I'm gonna hop on into this brown shade right here. It's, these are, these, some of these brown shades are kinda hard to tell the difference from each other, but I just love, wait, which one was I pointing at? I just love this brown shade right here just to deepen up that outer corner. I'm just gonna stamp it on the outer corner and very, very lightly swoop it out, creating a cat eye effect. Very lightly though, you don't wanna to get too crazy. All right, then going back into my Morphe brush, I'm going to just blend those shades together. All right, then for my lid shade, I'm gonna take this coppery gold shade right here. I'm gonna use my finger to do this. Lord. Honestly, don't know if I've ever used this shade before, but it goes perfectly with my sweater if I do say so myself. Ignore my fingernails. I have been had a, I've had a busy week this week and have not had the chance to do them. Then I'm gonna dip into this kind of champagne-y looking lighter shade right here. And I'm gonna put that on the more inner part of my eye just to bring some lightness to the inner corner. Then I'm gonna take those same shades that I used on my top lid and pop them onto my lower lash line. So again, I'm gonna use this shade right here and just put that underneath my lower lash line. Shout out to Maddie Brady, you just messaged me. And I'm actually gonna skip onto this shade right here and put that on the outer part of my lower lash line and buff that in.
Now for eyeliner today, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner. It looks like this. I got this from Walmart. And this is a felt tip liner, so if you guys like more of a flimsy tip, this may not be the one that you like. They have other kinds in this line that you can get one that you like, but this is the felt tip, so it's going to be a little more stiff. All right, now I'm gonna pop on some mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so for a little tip, um, so if this is a look that you're planning to go out at night in, I would actually pop in some black liner on the waterline just to make it really vampy looking and good for the nighttime. So that's a little tip for you guys. Now I'm gonna go into contour. Um, to contour, I'm gonna use the Hula Benefit bronzer and it comes in like this little packaging right here. And it's so cute, it looks like that. And to do a nice, sharp, precise contour, I'm going to use my Morphe R31 brush. It looks like this. And tap on into the contour. A little tip for contouring, um, start at the forehead and do like a number three, and that's where you're supposed to contour. So again, start at the forehead and just do a three. And then for my bronzer, I'm going to use my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula in the shade Deep Bronze. Even though it is fall, I love the smell of this Butter Bronzer. It just smells like the beach. Alright, and a little trick to teach you guys, I'm going to take some of this Becca powder that I used earlier and I'm going to take the, sh like the sharp rectangle end of the sponge and dip it into that powder and I'm going to kind of create a line right here. It's not going to be too noticeable with this powder, but it's going to be just enough to shape that out and make it a little less sloppy. All right, I'm gonna leave that on for a little bit so it can kind of bake. And for a blush, I'm gonna use the Milani blush in the shade Romantic Bl Romantic Rose. You can I got mine at Walmart and it has this beautiful detailing. Let me see if you guys can see that. When you buy it, it's in more of a dome shape, so obviously I have used it quite a bit. It comes in like a nice little dome. So I'm going to take my Luxie 514 brush, dip into that. This is just a gorgeous shade for the fall. It's a nice rose. I don't tend to go for the peachy shades in the fall just because for me, that just seems more, a little more summery and springy, so I tend to stick with more of the rose, especially like with this eye look, a peach blush would not go with this eye look. So there we have it. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Morphe High Impact Highlighter in the shade Spark. It looks like this. And when you get it in the packaging, I've showed you guys this highlighter before. It is just gorgeous. I'm gonna use, Lala's hair is everywhere. <laughs> 
Pomeranian Sheds. I'm gonna use my ColourPop F5 brush and dip in to that. This highlighter is gorgeous for fall. Goes with like a nice bronzy look. Oh, it's so pretty. Even though it is fall, I still like to look like I have a nice glow going on. So that's, you can achieve that through highlight. Now I'm gonna go back into my Morphe palette and I'm gonna dive into that shade right there, that lightest shade, and put that onto my brow bone and highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away that powder. So you can see it's more clean now. There's more, do you see that line right there? There's more of a line. So it just looks less sloppy. For lip liner, I'm gonna use the Morphe lip liner in the shade Sweet Tea. I love this shade. For fall, I absolutely love brown shades. And I'm gonna cover my whole lip with this shade. So to get the Cupid's bow nice and pointy, I do like an X, so watch. You do like an X, you start at the tip of your Cupid's bow and go X like that. And then you're good to go. For lipstick, I'm going to use the Morphe Matte Lipstick in the shade Wifey. Their lipsticks are absolutely gorgeous. Now this is a matte one. Some of you may not want a matte lipstick. They do have cream lipsticks. So go ahead and look at those. But I absolutely love matte lips for the fall. Then I'm just gonna set it all down with my Morphe setting spray and I'll be all done. All right, you guys, and this is the final look for my nice little fall tutorial. Fall makeup tutorials are my absolute favorite tutorials to film, so if you wanna see more, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Everything I used on my face today, I absolutely love, and I used constantly, especially for that Morphe palette. I would go pick that up as soon as you can. It is an absolutely gorgeous palette for the fall. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the no notification bell next to it. Leave some comments down below letting me know what videos you guys want to see in the future. I can do reviews. I can do my top favorite products. I can talk about skincare. I can do all of that. So you guys just let me know. So until then, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and a great rest of the week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.